Chuck Glisson, when you have a president who's a financial genius and a business Jesus like Donald Trump, you just gotta trust him. This week's edition of SNL dove right back into politics as it took on the latest President Trump issues for its cold open. The show parodied NBC's Meet the Press with Kyle Mooney playing host Chuck Todd, asking a panel of GOP members what would it take to stop supporting Trump. Beck Bennett played Senator Mitch McConnell, Cecily Strong played Senator Susan Collins, and Kate McKinnon took on the GOP's latest bad boy, Lindsey Graham. Mooney's taught throughout a bunch of hypothetical situations, like what if Robert Mueller testified in front of Congress and said that Trump colluded with the Russians, to which Strong's Collins replied, Well, I'd have to write a strongly worded email and send it straight to my draft folder. <laughs> and Bennett's McConnell stress ate a piece of lettuce at Todd's hypothetical that Trump is actually Muslim. The hypotheticals got more and more absurd, like what if Trump were to divorce Melania for a certain someone else, which did not sit well with any of them. What do we leave her for? Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Oh, no, no, that's not right. That's not right. That's not right. <laughs> but the GOP members still didn't bite, and it seemed like nothing was enough to lose their support of the president, even with this final attempt. Okay, let's say Trump open hand slaps you in the face. What would you say then? Harder, daddy. <laughs> Elsewhere in the episode, Emma Thompson took on hosting duties for the evening and dedicated her opening monologue to motherhood, even shouting out her own daughter in the audience. The actress also brought out Tina Fey and Amy Poehler to help her out with a bit about what mothers say versus what they really mean. When you ask your mother what she wants to do for Mother's Day and she says... Just to relax in the backyard, maybe a massage. What she's actually asking is... How does one buy weed? <laughs> the Mother's Day references continued in the episode, including in a short starring Thompson and Heidi Gardner, discussing the joys of motherhood before cutting to the harsh reality of parenting. You were always so calm and sweet with me. That's because every moment was a joy. Pete Davidson even brought out his actual mother, Amy Davidson, during Weekend Update and talked about their big Mother's Day plans. What do you guys have planned for tomorrow? What do you mean? This is, I put her on TV. This is it. As host, Thompson definitely brought on the laughs throughout the night, playing various characters, including an etiquette coach that kept getting violent with Leslie Jones, who played a distant relative of the royal baby, an actress rivaling McKinnon in a black and white movie in which both were trying to get in the last line the whole time and a judge on CHOP where the contestants had to work with ingredients like a five pound horse penis, loose sugar, a kitten, and cigarettes. The host also played a fake psychotherapist for a daytime TV series hosted by McKinnon and even got to sing during a bit about Beauty and the Beast. Barely even drunk, I brushed against his junk accidentally. But one of the highlights of the night, well, maybe just one of my highlights for the night, included a cameo from the Jonas Brothers. The Joe Bros were the musical guests for the night, but still managed to sneak into one of the sketches. The trio played defendants who ruined a house during a party in a daytime TV parody called Judge Court. Well, I spilled the snacks. I brought my skateboard into the living room. And then uh, I set the house on fire. <laughs> Thompson, McKinnon, and A.D. Bryant played three judges who tied for last place in their law school class and were best friends. The judges were smitten by the boy band, so they got away with the crime and instead invited them out to dinner. The Jonas Brothers also performed their hits old and new like Sucker and Burnin' Up, keeping the SNL crowd pumped all night. All right, to watch more sketches and clips from the latest episode of SNL, head to THR.com. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Neha Joy.